Okay, so I'm here with a motivational video. My son is upstairs sleeping. I cannot wait to take a shower because I am disgusting. This. And my belly is grumbling. Hopefully you guys can't hear that on camera. But I got super inspired by a conversation that I had last week about maintenance. Um, a conversation I had with a client of mine yesterday via email and then a shirt that I got from Misfit Clothing um, and the saying before I forget it is never be satisfied with where you are because that will be the day that you stop pushing yourself and I made a montage and I'm not trying to brag or anything like that but you always want to try to be better. At some point, it's like, okay, I'm going to have to stop trying to get heavier on this particular exercise, but you have to believe in yourself and keep pushing. And then I'm going to explain to you what uh, uh, I think a pretty brilliant way of thinking of this is. Yes, I just call myself brilliant. So, um, basically, I've been really feeling these barbell bridges. Uh, I literally, right when I had my kind of epiphany of balance between jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai and getting back into training, I did the barbell bridges and I think I got up to like 300 or two and change or whatever. And then I got motivated every Tuesday when we go over to CMT since I love their plates and it looks so much more bad a dollar dollar when you have those huge bumper plates. But basically what I did was fast forward to now, um, I did 350 pound, 50 pound barbell bridges. So the barbells here, the benches on my back. I did it at 24 hour fitness and a little note to those of you that want to try it, make sure the bench is not too high. I was trying to go for 360 over at 24 hour fitness, but they're bench is super high and I couldn't even get it up, little, let alone to bridge it. Um, the bench over at CMT is a little bit lower, so boom, and I made a video just to prove for those of you, those people that are around me that saw me not being able to even get up 360. Um, so whatever. So then the ne last week I did 405. I said, I'm a woman of my word, I said I'm going to do over 400. So I did it. I don't know what I'm going to do. All I know is that I'm going to try to go heavier tonight. Today's Tuesday. I'm going to try it. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. There's no more room on the barbell. Maybe I'll put a dumbbell on my waist. I don't know. The point of the video is I wanted people to think about being at maintenance um, or not being at maintenance. Let's just say if you're on your way to your goal and you look at yourself in the mirror and you're overall in a non-cocky way. I say this as humble as possible. I am happy with the way that I look. I'm not a cocky bia, and I don't sit there and be like, oh, I'm at this and that. I have a shirt that, thank you so much, Joyce, for getting for me, but it says hashtag beast, and that's so not my style because I don't want people thinking that I think that I'm a beast, so I, I usually don't wear stuff like that. Um, because again, that's not my thing. My thing is that I'm very happy with the way that I look. I, I have room for improvement. We all have room for improvement. That is what the shirt means. So if I sit there and some people, and I literally this was inspired, like I said, um, I did a coaching call last week with a client and she's like, I'm very happy with where I am right now. How do you balance this out? And I said maintenance, and I've done a video on this, maintenance is not easier than getting to a goal. It's just as hard, but it's hard in a different way. So because you don't want to ever be hard on yourself, whether you're on your way to your goal or you're at goal, you're maintaining goal, whatever it is, you always want to be ultimately able to look at yourself in the mirror and pat yourself on the back and talk to yourself the way that you would want others to talk to you. And I've done a video on that as well. However, realistically, you have got to always want to be better at something. Maybe I want to run faster. Maybe I want to try to run backwards faster. I haven't done it in a while. Maybe I want to do something that I haven't done in a while. Maybe I want to try something new. Maybe I want to do my workout in a different order. I want to fatigue a certain muscle and then see if I could still do that heavy of a weight. So there are different ways for you to challenge yourself. And then physically, let's just say if you're physically, you like what the scale says and you're very happy about that. Number one, you still have to work. You don't get to, and I'll pretty much quick story. I had some guy like two years ago, I was walking out of the gym and he's like, what are you doing? Like, I think there's a funny meme about it too. And he's like, I just saw you in the gym. And he's like, why do you work out so hard? And I was like, I don't understand that question. <laughs> and he's like, well, you're fit already. And I was like, well, what do you think? Once you get fit, I just can just sit on the couch and eat bonbons all day. Like, well, I don't understand. And he's like, well, no, don't you not have to work as hard? And I'm like, no. 
I, you know, and then I told them my whole story about how I don't eat uh, bad food and about how, you know, I, what am I training for, he says. And then even somebody recently asked me, hey, I noticed that your arms are getting a little bit bigger. And then I saw your post about doing heavier weight. Are you training for something? And I'm like, no, I'm motivated and inspired by every one of my clients every day. I can't possibly tell you how much they motivate the heck out of me. Like, I need them just as much as they need me. Um, but getting back to the whole satisfied thing, you want to be happy with you. You always want to be happy with you. Even if you have a hundred pounds more to go to lose weight, you have no more pounds to go. You always want to ultimately look yourself in the mirror and compliment yourself. If you're at goal, I'm happy with Jen, but I would like to cap out my shoulders a little bit more. So I'm going to work on that. But you do it in a way where it's you don't ever stop pushing yourself to be better than you were the day before. You don't ever get that comfortable where you get complacent because then what can happen is you can end up moving backwards. So you're like, OK, I'm really happy with the scale. I'm happy with the way that I look. I got to my goal. I this, I that. Now I'm comfortable, but I'm not comfortable where I'm going to now neglect the the hard work. I'm going to now stop prepping my food once a week. I'll prep it every couple days and then I'll do my best to make healthy choices every now and then. I tell people all the time, I'm going to prep my food every day for the rest of my life or once a week for the rest of my life because I need to because of my condition. So that is what I mean by that. Or that is what that shirt means. So you never want to stop pushing no matter what, no matter where you are. You always want to try to have a super kick a dollar dollar. Oh, I almost said it. Um, a day. You always want to be happy with you, but always in a non-negative way, be a little bit critical of things. Not too critical and not in a negative way, just in a way of performance enhancement or um, physical, oh, I want to be able to see one more box. Like, it literally could be anything. Um, so I hope that this kind of puts some clarity to people, those of you that are on the way to goal and even those of you that are there, those of you that are happy with where you're at right now. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I hope I've inspired somebody. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a short one. Whoa only under 10 minutes. That's rare. I feel like I need to just babble right now just for like three more minutes just because, no, I'm only kidding. Okay, gotta go wake up my son, gotta take a shower, gotta eat. Oh, <sighs>